Hello guys, in this video let's talk about two-factor authentication in Laravel and we recently published a free tutorial on Laravel daily and I just decided to shoot a video version to reach more people but I will link the text-based tutorial in the description below as well. It's free, no membership required. So what is the situation in Laravel 12 currently? Do we have any tools officially or packages to enable two-factor authentication in something like new starter kits? And the answer is no. The official starter kits in their documentation, there's nothing about two-factor authentication. And the last comment from Taylor Otwell about it, he acknowledges that it's not in the starter kits and he promised MFA as well as Teams and API starter kit, but it was in February. And since then, unfortunately, none of those were actually released. They are probably busy with the team with something else, with other projects like Cloud and Nightwatch. But I still hope to see those things in starter kits, whether in this version or in the next future Laravel starter kit versions. However, it's still possible to use two-factor authentication from older Laravel official tools. So if you search the official documentation of Laravel, you have two-factor authentication by Laravel Fortify. So this is your option number one, to use Laravel Fortify, which is a bridge between option stacks of Laravel Jetstream that was released, actually both were released in Laravel 8, so four years ago. But Fortify is still available and you can use it. Let me zoom in to factor authentication. So you can build your manual implementation of to factor authenticatable. And there are some instructions on the official page of Laravel Docs but you still need to manually kind of stick those Lego pieces together to have the full project on two-factor authentication. And another official option, which I mentioned probably less than a minute ago, is Laravel Jetstream, powered by Fortify on the back end. So in Laravel Jetstream starter kit, there's a section about two-factor authentication, which you can enable or disable. Again, it still works. It's not mentioned in the official Laravel docs, but it's still fully possible to use in Laravel 12. We have a short tutorial about that again on Laravel daily. So you install Laravel 12 without any starter kit and then install Jetstream on top. It still works. So those are two official options, Fortify or Jetstream. Now, non-official options, there are also packages. One of the most popular packages is called Google 2FA by Antonio Ribeiro. And if we scroll down to the docs, the docs are pretty big and you can read them all. But this is basically how it looks as an example. And the usage is like this. So you create the object of Google 2FA. And again, with that package, you kind of put those pieces together, which is in the controller and which is elsewhere. But also same Antonio released Laravel version kind of wrapper of that package. So with that, you compose require Laravel and then you have something like middleware here and more stuff related to Laravel. So this is one option of the package. Another package option less popular with 300 stars on GitHub is called two-factor, which starts with a demo straight from login function, which is probably more understandable for Laravel users. And this is the setup, two-factor install, migration, enabling, and then you can read more in the docs. So this is another option for two-factor authentication. And then another kind of package option or separate third-party tool option for two-factor authentication. And this is where I get back to Laravel starter kits. I told you there is no official option, but actually I lied a bit intentionally. I've put that to the very end of this video. When installing Laravel with installer, you may choose instead of default Laravel auth, you may choose work OS. It's a third party tool for authentication. It's free up to a million, I think, requests or million users. I don't remember exactly. There's auth kit by work OS, which includes two factor authentication as part of their tool. This option was released with Laravel 12 along with starter kits. And not sure if you followed that, but it received quite a negative reaction from Laravel community. Like since when do we have a paid tool option in free Laravel installer and free framework? But the idea by Taylor Otwell was just he liked it. He thought it would be a good option, like optional thing for those who actually want a separate third party service for the authentication. So there is no financial incentive here. It was just an option suggested to the users. But actually, after like four months or so passed since it's released, 
I haven't seen many developers in my circles or roughly any developers who actually choose that WorkOS option. But still, it's one of the available options, so I had to mention it in this video. So these are the tools and packages available. Maybe I missed something, but at the end of this video, I want to also mention that you can build your two-factor authentication yourself. You may not even call that two-factor authentication, it's just one-time password, for example. And here's an example project that we built. It's available in Laravel Daily Project Examples section here. This one is for premium member if you want the full repository, but I also have a video overview of that project on YouTube and I will also link that in the description below. So yeah, which of those tools do you like and do you use in Laravel 12 or anything I've missed? Let's discuss in the comments below. That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.